All right, so we're doing an Edmonton housing market update for the month of October 2022 using the most recent statistics available from the Realtors Association of Edmonton. So that's the month uh, using the statistics from September 2022, essentially. Uh, we're going to jump right in. We're going to look at the market as a whole first, uh, total residential, then just single family homes, and then the condo market. If you want to get a copy of this report, if you look for the link in the description, you can download a PDF copy for your reference as well. So let's jump right in. Starting with the total residential, the market is now uh, squarely in the middle of being a buyer's market with a listing absorption rate of 18.08%. Uh, and that's as of the end of September. Uh, we had 6,168 listings and there was 1,115 sales uh, in September. So that's how you get that listing absorption rate of just over 18%. Over here on the right, you can look at how that's changed over the course of the year. October last year, we were sitting at a 23.34% listing absorption rate. So the market is weaker compared to last year. Uh, it was still a, a buyer's market in October last year, but a lot closer to that balanced sort of market. Whereas right now we're right in the middle of a buyer's market. Uh, we hit our peak in March uh, earlier this year when we were actually in a seller's market with a 57% uh, listing absorption rate and that's sort of steadily steadily come down since then not as big of a drop from last month when we were uh, at 19.81 percent but we are still seeing the market con continue to shift as interest rates have been going up and the market is essentially trying to stabilize to the new new reality so the average price in september was three hundred and seventy three thousand four hundred and seventy six dollars uh, which was up 0.59% from August 2022 and down 1.59% from September of 2021. Uh, you can see how that's played out over the course of the year. Uh, we had a big gain in February, stayed kind of flat and then started coming down. We had a pretty big drop in the average price in August and uh, it's actually up a little bit since August. Now, if you look at the trend for the year, we're still up for the year uh, and the average price, we're up 3.16% not doing as well as we were this time last year in 2021, we were sitting at 6.8% increase in average price. Now looking a little bit closer at the active and sold listings, the, there were 6,168 active listings at the end of September and 1,115 sales uh, in, during the course of the month. So the active listings are actually down 1.77% from August. Uh, and up 1.1% from September of last year. And the sales are down 10.37% from August and down 14.89% from September 2021. So we're still seeing the market slow down in terms of sales. Uh, not as big of a decrease as we've seen in some of the more recent months. We had 1,244 sales in August. Uh, and you can see over here on the right, looking at how many sales again we peaked in March. This graph follows the same pattern as what we saw with the listing absorption rate. Uh, it got the, the absorption rate got quite high in March when we had a lot more sales and a lot less inventory. The green bars essentially shows you the breathing room in the market or the gap between the number of listings and the number of sales. Uh, so if you have a lot less listing and a lot more sales and you have a tighter market, that's more likely to be a seller's market. And, and we've gradually seen that uh, shift since essentially April. It's been shifting more and more going all the way from a seller's market to a buyer's market. So pretty big shift in a relatively short period of time. In, in six months, we've seen a pretty big shift, a lot more inventory to choose from for buyers out there and sellers are going to have to be a lot more competitively priced. Now, the average days on market was sitting at 50 days in September, 11% slower compared to last month, and uh, also about the same compared to September 2021. So we're, we're sitting at 50 days on average. It was 45 days last month and 45 days uh, last September. Now, looking at the market distribution, this is just basically what price point uh, homes are selling in. Uh, for So for all properties across Edmonton, uh, uh, under 200,000, the, the the market is 16.26%. So 16.26% of the market was sold under 200,000. The next mar market segment between two and 300,000 was just over 15% of the market. Uh, between three and 400,000 was just over 24% of the market. And between four and 500,000 was uh, about 20.5% of the market. After that, between five to 600,000, we got 11% of the market. And then just over 6% of the market between six and 700,000. Then between seven and 800,000, you have just over 3% of the market and just over 1.6% of the market between eight and 900,000. After that, each market segment has less than 1% of the market. So you, this can kind of help you visualize where most of the action is. Uh, I've definitely felt uh, the action move further to the left um, on this graph. 
in the last several months as the interest rates have gone up people are very price conscious and payment conscious so rather than buying a more expensive property i see people trying to get themselves into a lower price point so that's putting uh, pressure on those lower price points and kind of leaving the higher price points a little bit thinner there so there's not as many people buying in those higher price points now let's look at the same things just for single family homes uh, but i did want to mention um, if you are interested in getting some advice and guidance and helping you make a plan, uh, whether you're buying or selling a home in the Edmonton area, I'd appreciate if you reach out to me directly at 780-819-5508. You can either text me or call me at that number or go to booktrevornow.com. And then you can select a time on my calendar to set up a free consultation call. Uh, we can chat on the phone for 30 minutes about anything you like. You can let me let me know what you're thinking about. Ask me any questions that you have, whether it's about financing or buying or selling uh, or market conditions, what, you, what I think a property is worth. I can give you whatever you want in those 30 minutes. They're for you. It's totally free and there's no pressure uh, for you to buy anything. It's just I uh, want to help you out. And if you end up working with me in the future to buy or sell, then that's great. And if not, that's fine too. So feel free to reach out to me. Uh, let's continue with the market update here. So looking at just the single family home market, that's also sitting in a buyer's market with a 15.95% absorption rate. So it's pretty, you know, right in the middle of a buyer's market. Again, you can see the same sort of trend here on the right on how that's changed throughout the year. You can see single family homes were a very strong seller's market in February, March, and it was still a seller's market in April and then has really pulled back a lot since then. The average price for single family homes was $474,361, which is down 1.22% from last month and up 1.78% from September of last year. You can see how the average price has gone up and down throughout, uh, throughout the year. We've had some gains and some losses. Average price is not the best piece of information to look at because it can be skewed by lower price properties or higher price properties. Uh, I prefer to look at the benchmark price when you're just trying to figure out how the actual value of a property has changed over time. But average just kind of gives you an idea on what's going on in the market. Now, uh, for single family homes, average price is still up just over 6% for 2022, uh, not quite as well as 2021 when we were up 7.66%. Now, in terms of actives and solds, there's 3,692 active listings at the end of September for single family homes and 589 sales. So the inventory is down 3.75% from August, but up 12.49% from September of 2021. And the sales are down 10.62% uh, from August and down 23.21% from September 2021. So again, same pattern here where you've seen it ramped up in February and March and then has uh, steadily come down since then. Still, still dropping a little bit. Part of this is seasonal, uh, but part of it's also just the, the new reality of the market and, and the interest rates. Average days on market sitting at 46 days in September. Um, we were at 39 days in August, so things are moving a little slower here in September. And we were at 37 days uh, last September, so the market's not performing as well as it was same time last year. Now, this is the market distribution uh, for single family homes. You can see that there's less than, you know, 1.34% of the market between one to 200,000 or less than 200,000 and between two and 300,000, that's 7.33% of the market. And between three and 400,000, that's uh, almost 24% of the market. So you start to see a bigger chunk of the market there. There's still some stuff between two and 300,000, but it's still a pretty small segment of the market. And then between four and 500,000, you got 28.47% of the market. So that's the biggest segment of the market still. Uh, it has, this has definitely shifted. I've seen more of a shift to the left. Uh, but we're still seeing some decent numbers in here. Between five and 600,000 is just under 18% of the market. And between six to 700,000 is 9.87% of the market. After that, 5% of the market's between seven and 800,000. And then 2.69% between eight and 900,000. Got a couple more segments here over 1% over at 1.28% between 900,000 and a million, 1.46% between uh, 1 million and 1.5 million. And then after that, it, it got less than half a percent between 1.5 and 2 million. All right. So let's take a look over at the condominium market. Uh, one other thing I did want to mention to you is I've got a new Facebook group that I just launched a private Facebook group that, uh, all about the Edmonton housing market tips, updates, and insights where I'll be sharing all my latest, uh, insights and links to my YouTube videos in there, as well as access to the reports and anything else that I see going on in the market. So I'll put a link to join that group in the description below, uh, that'll link you either to the group or, um, to an email invite so that I can send you the link to join the group. Make sure you check that out. It's free to join. 
Again, no pressure or anything in there. I'm just there to help you and answer any questions you have about the Edmonton real estate market and hopefully give you some good information that'll help you on your journey. So you can find the link for that in the description below. Okay, so now looking at the condominium market in Edmonton, the listing absorption rate was sitting at 16.01% at the end of September. Um, again, right in the middle of a buyer's market. That's been the case for the most of the time with the, with the condo market. You can see here this, the, the trend over the last 13 months. Uh, things were a little bit better in February, March, and April uh, when we were you know, technically in a balanced market for, for condos, but that didn't last long and it started dropping down again. Condo market, if you've been looking at it for any length of time, it's been in a buyer's market for years for the most part. So uh, we had a little bit of hope earlier this year and now it's kind of uh, shifted on us again. Now the average price for condos in Edmonton was sitting at $213,239, which was down 0.35% uh, from August and down 1.91% from September. Uh, here's the, the, the history on how that's uh, looked over the last 13 months in terms of price gains and losses. Most of it again was in February. We had some price gains and now it's kind of uh, come down from there. Uh, for the year so far, we're still up 2% for the average price on condos uh, compared to 3.9% last year. And active and sold listings, there was 2,292 active listings at the end of September and 367 sales. So the listings were down 6.8 or 6.9% from August and down 18.69% from September of 2021. And the sales are down 12.83% from August and down uh, just over 1% from September 2021. So again, here's the sales and actives and how that's sort of affected the, the market balance. Average days on market for condos is sitting at 58 days compared to 55 days in August and 57 days in September of last year. And for condos, you can see it's a much different market distribution with just over 47% of the market between, uh, well, under 200,000 and then 32.8% of the market between two and 300,000, uh, about 14.5% between three and 400,000 and then 3.3% uh, between four and 500,000. After that, you have less than 1% of the market uh, for each uh, increase in, in price bracket. So that's it for the Edmonton market update. If you like this type of video, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another market update video and make sure to check out that Facebook group uh, so that it can help answer any questions that you have about the Edmonton real estate market and keep you up to date on everything that's going on. So you'll find the link for that in the description. If you click over here, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you click over here, you can check out another video. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.